Welcome to our demo on mask customization. We have chosen the Smart Heater 365 as example. And the Smart Heater can be configured. It can have a length between 0 0.5 and 4.5 meters. It can have a color. And you can control it with a simple device with a touch screen or via your handy app and IoT device. Our smart heater contains of heating modules. The smallest heater with 0 0.5 meters contains of two modules. And after four modules, it is necessary to include a connection module for the next four heating models. In this example, we have a heater from 1.5 meters, six modules are required, plus one connector, and so on. We have created a variation model. You can choose the color, red, green, blue, black, and so on. You can choose between 0 0.5 meters and 4.5 meters length. And you can choose uh, where you want to control your smart heater. However, if you have a smart um, heater smaller than one meter, you can only choose an analog device. Otherwise, you can choose the touch or IoT device. Let's have a look to dynamics, how we have set up this variability model. We have used the product configuration model in Dynamics 365 and created a model. So in the first place, we have defined some attributes. One is the length. Let's have a look at this attribute. The length is from type decimal and can be between 0 0.5 and 4.5 meters. Based on this attribute, we are calculating the number of heating modules and connectors. This is done here in calculations. We use this calculation for the heating modules by multiplying the length in meters with 4 and choosing the smaller integer value, for example. The smallest heater with 0 0.5 meters contains of two heating modules, a larger one with 1.5 meters contains of six heating modules and the heater with 1.2 meters. As we are using the smallest integer we are rounding here, it will contain four heating modules. The same was done with the connection elements here. And we have used this calculation in the bomb line details so for the heating modules, if you have a look at the quantity, the quantity of this element in the bomb is defined by this calculation. So we are using this calculated field here as the quantity. The same with the connector. The quantity of connectors used is based on this calculation. Regarding the color, we have defined an attribute named color. And the color is from type text. And in our example, allows three values, red, 
green uh, the blue in the bomb details down here we have added a component for blue a component for green color and a component for red color but we have added a condition so this element is only used the blue color is only used if the attribute value selected by the user is blue green is only used if the attribute value is green and red is only used if the attribute value is red and again we are using the length here in the bomb details and the quantity so for a heat of 2 meters the quantity of color elements used to make the heat red for example here would also be 2 Regarding the control elements, we have added here an other attribute called control. And it allows the user to choose between an analog device, a touch device, and a remote device. And we have added three additional attributes here to calculate the number of analog devices in our heater, the number of touch devices and the number of IoT remote devices. Again we have used the calculation feature here so the number of analog devices is defined. If the user has chosen to use analog device it will be used anyway. However, if the length of our heater is smaller than 1 meter, regardless what the user has chosen, it is necessary to use here this analog device. The same for the touch device here. If the user has chosen the touch device and the length is greater than 1, the touch device can be here used. Otherwise, the touch element cannot be used. So let's test our model. I can here choose the color, for example green. I can choose the control element I want to use. I want to have a touch panel. However, the length by default is one meter, so I can't have the touch panel here. I get an analog device. But if I choose, for example, the heater with a length of 2 meters, I can get my touch device here. And as you can see, the number of elements for the heating motors and connectors are calculated on the fly. So if we change this to 1.5 meters, 1.5. We have six elements here and one connection module. And since 1.5 is greater than 1, I still get my touch panel on my heater. So how is this working when we create a production order? Let's create a new production order here fill in the mandatory fields like site, warehouse and location and now I can configure my production this will open the same dialog as we have seen in our test and now I want to have a blue heater I want to have a remote control. My heater should be 2 meters long. This calculates automatically the modules, the heating modules and connection modules. And as we can see, I will also get my remote control unit here. So let's say OK and create production order. Now let's go to the bill of materials. 
And as you can see, as I have said, it should be blue. We have the quantity of two for the blue color element. I have eight heat heating units. I have two connection units. And I have here my IoT remote control device.